All right, phase one of this road trip is over. The road trip all around the east coast of the United States and up into Canada with Andrew and Sam. I dropped them off at the airport. I'm back now at Luke and Liz's house and uh, I have some gear talk to do. I think I said gear talk, but what I meant was some gear decisions because I brought a lot of gear on this trip for Andrew and Sam and me. We did some car camping, not as much as I would have liked, but I brought all the gear anyway. By the way, this is Luke and Liz's house. They're not home. They gave me the key. They're going to be back later. I saw them yesterday, though, and I might see them tomorrow. So here's the gear I have to choose from on my New Hampshire hike. What will I take? I got a camp chair, a two-person tent from REI, a one-person tent from REI, number of sleeping bags, 20 degree bag, 20 degree bag, and a 40 degree bag from Feathered Friends. I have a number of sleeping pads. I've got uh, these big Agnes pads. They're very comfortable. And then this one from uh, Thermorest, which is just a torso length. This is the, the sleeping pad that I used on my Benton Mackay through hike. We have some uh, gas for the camp stove which isn't shown but I do have a camp stove around here somewhere used it to make coffee I have two different kinds of bivvies one's a bug bivvy one's just a super light bivvy both from Mountain Laurel Designs I have my sandals on my feet I'm wearing ultras so that's an option for this trip I have uh, the puffy down puffy um, some luxury items Eno hammock frisbee giant flashlight more giant flashlights footprint for the um, two-person REI tent an umbrella I really don't know what to do about this umbrella I'd, I'd like to leave it behind on this trip but I, I'll probably end up taking it a frisbee these are the little, little coffee cups you can get from REI that we use when we're car camping and some plastic water bottles uh, that I'll used to carry water in. Now what I have to do is whittle all this down so it's only about eight pounds. And I omitted a couple, uh, one important item, the backpack, and that's uh, one of my big decisions. I got the Z-Pax Art Blast that I used at the end of my uh, Appalachian Trail hike last year. And I have this new pack, it weighs even less, so I don't know, it's under a pound, from Palante Packs. It's really, uh, it's called the Joey, and there have been a lot of videos on YouTube about it later, uh, lately. I really like it. I've done some day hikes in it and some overnights with it and I'd like to get my gear into this if I can for my New Hampshire hike. And then uh, this is a pack liner from Z-Packs which goes inside of the Arc Blast but if I use this uh, Joey I'll probably put the pack liner in the Joey to keep my stuff from getting wet. And then over here is Z-Packs uh, this is a ground cloth that goes underneath one of their tents, but I use it when I'm tarp camping. Unfortunately, it's the thing that still smells the most like dead slugs from my Appalachian trail through hike. And uh, I'm trying to air it out a little bit. Now, if you're confused by what's going on in this video, uh, let me just explain a little bit. I've been, for the last three weeks, driving around the east coast of the United States and Canada with Andrea and Sam on a road trip. At the last moment, uh, Andrea decided, well, why don't I drop them off at the airport in New York, it turned out to be Boston, they can fly home and I can keep the car and hike. That's what I'm going to do. That's why I have the car. That's why I have all the gear. I'm going to uh, hike through New Hampshire on the Appalachian Trail starting in a couple days. So I think uh, the first hike is going to be something with Liz and possibly Luke, it's kind of a shakedown because I'm not really sure about the gear I want to take. Uh, we're going to go to the White Mountains. I think Luke might have to work, but in any case, I'll do a video about that shakedown hike that we do, and then I'll get started in Hanover at the Vermont, um, New Hampshire border, hike all the way through New Hampshire, the White Mountains and so forth, hard section of the trail, go all the way to the main border, and perhaps a little bit beyond on this hike with the eight pounds of gear that I select from the car. Of course, I've got a hat with me. In my first video in this series, somebody said congratulations on the new hat, but actually this is the hat that I started the Appalachian Trail with um, last year. I have to decide, should I say Appalachian or Appalachian? I can say both. I'm from Tennessee, so that would be Appalachian, 
but I'm up here in New Hampshire, so maybe I should be saying Appalachian. Anyway, I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna look through this gear. I'm gonna go in the house at some point and spread it out all on the floor, and then I'll let you know what I've decided to take with me, at least on the shakedown hike tomorrow. Okay, I think I got the gear figured out. I'm gonna try to go through it really quickly because this video's getting kind of long. I'm in Luke and Liz's house. I'm bothering them, probably. Here's Luke. Uh, He's gonna watch me talk about my gear. Here's Liz. What's Hi, up? Liz. Hi. She's making something to eat for dinner. All right, so, you'd probably rather hear from Luke and Liz, but I'm gonna show you my gear. Uh, this is the sleep system I'm gonna use. The tarp from Hyperlite Mountain Gear, it's eight and a half foot square flat tarp, the same one I used on the Appalachian Trail ties. These are by Hyperlite Mountain Gear, really light. This is the 40 degree bag from Feathered Friends. This is the ground cloth, uh, Dyneema from CPAX. The Bug Vivi, the same one that I used on the AT stakes. And a little tiny piece of uh, Tyvex clothing. I'm gonna wear sandals, puffy jacket, this thing in case I have any problem with my knees or my uh, other muscles. Clothing, most of this will be worn, but I got um, two pairs of socks, underwear, long underwear, this is the second pair of socks, a buff, I put this over my eyes at night so I can, uh, so it's dark, and um, short sleeve shirt, long sleeve shirt, and shorts. This is a food bag. This is just a stuff stack that I bought at the uh, store, the spoon, because my my regular gear is back at home in Nashville. So I'm going to use that stuff stack rather than my z packs. Food bag. This is the um, electronic stuff, including an extra battery. I need this stuff to uh, to make videos on the trail. This is my MP3 player. I don't usually use a pillow, but I don't have enough clothes to make a pillow, so I'm taking that. Uh, forgive me if you're upset about it, but I'm taking it. Um, this is what I think of as nighttime stuff. Bear bag. Um, I normally have a smaller headlamp, but I don't have it with me, so I'm going to take that one. Earplugs. Toothpaste. This is um, first aid stuff. A leave. A little knife. Band-Aids, Neosporin. Water bottles. A scoop to get water. I carry one of these so that I can clean my feet off at the end of the day. Um, sunscreen, bug spray, hand sanitizer. I'm going to use the Joy Pack and I'm going to put everything in it in a minute so you see how it fits with the Z Pack's uh, pack liner. And that's the gear I'm taking. Okay, so everything's in the pack. Uh, I had the food in here and then I took it out so I could weigh the whole thing. It's 10.2, uh, which is a little bit heavier than I expected and uh, might mean that I'm going to change things up and maybe do the shakedown hike and then switch to the Z-Pax pack. I'm not really sure. But anyway, 10.2 pound base weight. However, that does not include my phone, which is another, how much is it, Liz? Oh, no, 0.6. It's dinner time. Of it. It's dinner time. <laughs> I'm making a video. It's dinner time. I'll be right there. Okay. And, and I, haven't, uh, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to take the umbrella. Uh, this rain jacket is like 0.5 from Frog Tuck, so there's a couple more ounces to add. I'm not taking a water filter, I'm using Aqua Tabs. I'm also not taking the Reflectix that I always used to use on the AT. So, that's it, go and eat dinner. Thanks for watching, and I'll keep you filled in on what I decided to do with my gear. Thanks for the sale, Blaze A+. You're welcome, Evan. Thanks, Luke. No problem, Evan.